Hello everyone and welcome back to the internet's best reactions to the Hungarian Grand Prix, the race before the summer break. Three weeks of not really knowing what to do. You, so I'm not actually going to say where I am today because some of you may know and you're going to comment right now where I am for you OGs out there. But let's get into your reactions. First tweet comes in from at NKSNMFT. And I mentioned this in the intro. When it's race day, but then you realise the summer break is next. Do any of us know how to feel right now? The start of the race, and there was actually no lap one collisions again. However, that didn't mean that every single car got through unscathed. Charles Leclerc. <laughs> it just cut to him sat there not moving. And then everyone on social media decided to jump in, didn't they? At Jay Pereira 44, Leclerc no. At Isonator, Charles Leclerc out. At Dave D92, live pictures of Matt. I mean, at Dav Yav 07, Matt on lap to just don't, don't take the mick. Okay, Charles, great guy. And he retired again, can't believe it. Well, I mentioned that lap one was clean, well, apart from Marcus Ericsson. At Bildred underscore, Ericsson lap one cleared for takeoff. That could have easily meant Daniel Ricciardo's left tyre blowing off into turn one. Ericsson got some serious air, but both cars were fine, unscathed and carried on. So does that count as a clean lap, lap one? I think so. Hamilton and Bottas got off absolutely fine at the start. Hamilton leading, Bottas second, and Vettel actually jumped Raikkonen into third, but Hamilton just gone. You know, left Bottas for dust. At Superfast 37, Hamilton to Bottas after the start. Yeah, he was just gone. The entire race, no one could touch Hamilton. I think at the end of the race, Vettel said, you had it a bit too easy, didn't you, mate? He did. The next contender to fall out of the race, at Fabian Montiel 43, well, not Fabian, but this is the person who submitted it, Verstappen out. I think everyone had that same reaction, just seeing him slow down. His team radio was passionate, fiery, and full of swear words, and I don't blame him. Wouldn't every single person in his position be exactly the same? Red Bull looked really quick, and yet were hindered by mechanical issues or just being slow, like in qualifying for Ricardo, just had kind of issues. And I, oh, it's just not working out for Red Bull, is it, at the moment? I'm sure most of you are aware that Red Bull are moving to Honda uh, power units at Cohen underscore Van underscore Santon. Red Bull racing to Renault right now. <laughs> I, I think they can't wait for their partnership to, to end. There's been a lot of tweets about, oh, it's conspiracy now that Red Bull are, you know, breaking away from Re uh, Renault. Are they just giving them rubbish parts? No, I'm pretty sure that's illegal, but it's just not working out, is it? We found out over the team radio of Kimi Raikkonen that the Ferrari guys had forgotten to plug in the drinks bottle at COSA434. No, Kimi, your drink bottle is not on. That gift, that gift is amazing. And at Ponton Matthew, Kimi getting a drink after the race like, well, actually, he wasn't. I was watching him in that sort of post-race sort of where they sit down and talk amongst the drivers and whatnot. And he just kind of slowly opened the bottle, had a little look at it, going, well, this is what water looks like, and then drank it. Kimi is a beast. At Larky77, when Magnussen defends without pushing the other guy off the track, there was, you know, there was a lot of talk, oh, it was great defending from Magnussen. I don't think it really was defending, to be honest. I mean, Magnussen didn't do any sort of last minute maneuvers to the left, to the right. He was just kind of waiting for Ricardo to do a dive bomb. But either way, Ricardo did great to move through the field because they say that, you know, Hungary is like the Monaco, but with just slightly more space and less walls. But yeah, it's difficult to overtake. So Danny Rick did all right, didn't he? Did he? Who knows? Let me know. Did he? Comments! At Brad474747, Ricardo's turn one shenanigans. That's a lot like our t-shirt that we sell. At Uwen91, when Ferrari pit Vettel to put on ultra soft to chase Hamilton and have an epic final 30 laps but royally cock it up. And they did. Both Ferraris had poor pit stops during the Hungarian GP. Very disappointing because Vettel was saying he got on one and a half, two seconds a lap quicker. And I don't think he would have got Hamilton, but it would have been nice to at least monitor that gap as it came down. After Vettel's pit stop where he got stuck behind Bottas, it was, I was very much holding on to the fact that the race was gonna get really good at the end and Vettel was gonna catch Hamilton and blah, 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 blah. And then Vettel got stuck behind Bottas, kind of dropped to about three seconds behind as he was waiting for Bottas' tyres to degrade at Lightning La this race right now. And I have to agree, when it was like lap 20, 30, I was like, come on, give it a chance. It'll be all right. We'll, we'll get through this. It won't be a bore fest. But a lot of it was, was, wasn't was great, apart from seeing Danny Rick come through the field and then the end of the race, which we'll get on to right now. At Formula Fish 15, Vettel and Bottas. 
Finally, the fight we've been waiting for about 20 laps whilst Bottas's tyres were degrading. Vettel gets a great run finally out the last corner, comes down towards turn one, Bottas defends on the inside and Vettel gets the cut back, gets ahead of Bottas and then Bottas decides to, for some reason, try and go up the inside at turn three with no tyres left, smashes into the back of Vettel and then Bottas's front wing is flapping all over the shop. He has to go into the pits. It's carnage! <laughs> at Victor Veladsen, we actually have an action replay. Vettel and Bottas on lap 65. <laughs> now, I don't agree with this tweet, at TUFC underscore GDMN. Me when I saw Bottas get chopped up by Vettel. V Vettel did not chop up Bottas. Bottas was completely behind him. He ha you have to be at least half a car length alongside the car for, for Vettel, for, in this example, to have to give the space, give the space, leave the space. But he didn't, because Bottas was right behind, like behind, but he was nowhere near the inside. You know what I'm saying? And then he just locked up, smashed into the back of him, it's game over. And it didn't end there for Valtteri Bottas. At J. Cool 1948, Bottas in the last two laps. So after he got overtaken by both Vettel and Raikkonen and had front wing damage, didn't come into the pits. And then Daniel Ricciardo came out of nowhere because he was so much quicker, tried to go around the outside at turn one. Bottas understeers and smashes into the side of him. And it's just chaos. Bottas, seen as a very conservative, shy driver, decides to finally get his elbows out, but both times messing it up completely. At Becky Astabury, Bottas, what are you doing, fella? <laughs> Thomas had never seen such a mess. Love a Thomas the Tank Engine meme or gif. We have a post in from Instagram, F yeah, clean air. What a... Actual image of Kimmy after the race. Kimmy wasn't that bad, he's the Iceman. He's, he's, he's got plenty of fluids in his system. And so to sum it all up, Hamilton won the race, is now in the lead of the championship by 27 points. We have three weeks to go before another race. What are we going to do? No internet's best reactions, no podcast about the last week's Grand Prix. I am in pain already at Ewan underscore Broderick. Me realising the summer break begins now. <sighs> and now it's time for Race Rundown with your host, Matthew Gallagher. Yay, holy cow, 17 finishes. Oh, we're in trouble. Okay, the finishers of the Hungarian Grand Prix were, are, were. Hamilton, Vettel, Reichen, Ricardo, Bottas, Gasly, Magnussen, Alonso, Sainz, Grosjean, Hartley, Hockenberg, Ocon, Perez, Ekin, Stroll. There's a couple of stutters, but that was take number one. The finishers of the Hungarian Grand Prix were. Hamilton, Vettel, Reichen, Ricardo, Bottas, get Magnussen, oh, fuck. Hamilton, Vettel, Reichen, Ricardo, Hamilton, Vettel, Raikkonen, Ricardo, Bottas, Gasly, Magnussen, Alonso, Sainz, Grosjean, Hartley, Hockenberg, Ocon, Perez, Perez, Ericsson, Stroll, Control! That's good. That was only like five takes. Usually it's about 50. The non-finishers were... Vettel, Vettel, Lachen! That was supposed to be Leclerc. The non-finishers were... Vettel, Vettel, Lachen! Vettel, Vettel, Lachen! So that is it for the internet's best reactions to the Hungarian Grand Prix. And we are now on our summer break. Three weeks of not knowing what to do. Let us know in the comments section below what you're gonna be filling the void of F1 not being on with. I don't really know. If you wanna get involved next time for the next race, which is so long away, use the hashtag WTF1 on Twitter and Instagram. And we'll choose the best ones to be featured. If you wanna watch another video, click just here. If you wanna subscribe, click just here. If you want to go to our WTF1 shop, buy some merch to maybe cuddle at night whilst you miss F1 not being on, click just here. I'm Matt with WTF1 and we'll see you next time in three weeks. Goodbye.